In this video we're going to look at how to slice this model into profiles that can be cut as a flat or as a 2D. Now here I have my model already put on the screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create some planes through this and then grab the profiles of this face. So to do this first to make this easy rather than drawing the plane flat and then rotating it I'm going to use my UCS over here. I'm going to go to a side UCS and we'll come here to surfaces rectangular plane. Now, I'm just going to make the plane larger than it needs to be. In this case, I'm going to go 1000 by 1000 on this model. I'm going to move it in Z over 150. And what that's going to do since we rotate our plane to the side, the Z axis now travels this way. If we rotate, we could see the plane. So, we'll choose okay. Now, I'll place one at 100 which on this model lands just about midway through. And we'll go ahead and place one at 50. Now that I have several planes going through the shape, to get these 2D profiles, I'll come to Utilities, and then Intersection Curves. And what I'll do is I'll pick the model, and then I'll go ahead and pick the plane that I have going through. Then I'll pick the model again, and then the plane, and then the model, and then the plane that intersects. And what intersection curves does is it gives us the actual intersection curves, or the intersection lines. So now I'll go ahead and blank out my model. And now I can see that I'm left with the profiles that are now machinable. And now I have a good 2D cut. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to put my UCS back to the top. Now let's just say I just want to deal with the center. I'm going to select these lines and we'll go ahead and clean this up and get rid of these. Just uh, selecting then hitting delete on the keyboard. And now we're left with a good profile. We can rotate this over. Let's say we go around the y-axis 90 degrees, around zero. Now I can see I have a good side profile of my model. Now this can be used for boundary machining or profile cutting or whatever it is that you need. This is just an example of how you can get the curves or the intersection curves off of a model inside a Bobcat. That concludes this video.